hi guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see i am not ready at all i don't have any makeup my hair is a mess and i have a little bit less than two hours to get ready actually probably like one hour i think i have like one hour to get ready i'm actually going to the marine ball with juan today and i'm so excited because this will actually be probably our very last ball and this it's crazy to say because i just can't believe that juan is out of the military now and the only reason why we're going to this ball is because it is extra special for us to go because for the past two years we weren't able to go to the marine ball because of covid so it kept getting canceled for us so when juan got promoted to sergeant that was such a special achievement for him and he was so excited to go to the ball in his like sergeant dress blues but because we weren't able to go because of covid he never got the opportunity opportunity to go and I know that was like extremely like difficult for him so just the fact that we have the opportunity to go this last time the year that he got out is actually really special to us so I'm so excited to get ready long story short I actually got a dress very last minute you guys like it was so hard for me to get a dress I literally paid like for expedited shipping it was such a last minute dress it wasn't the dress that I thought I was gonna get like I had a, a different idea in my head of what I was gonna wear what I was gonna look like but I just didn't have time to properly like shop for a dress so my dress was super last minute and i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair i don't know what i'm gonna do with my makeup so i decided to bring you guys along with me to get ready for this very special day with us so first things first let's do my makeup oh and before i forget make sure to like comment and subscribe and let's get started because girl i have no time girl i am rushing girl like i'm trying to get ready as soon as possible because i still have to do literally i have to do my nails like i bought some press-ons because i didn't have time to go do my nails or to do them myself because i actually do my own nails but i didn't have time girl so i i need to put these press-ons on and i'm like literally rushing so i already washed my face because i wanted my skin to be fresh and prepped for my makeup up. and then what else did I do oh and then um, I quickly ate some literally some chick-fil-a because girl I know I'm starving and I know we possibly might drink later so I'm like I cannot go to this ball on an empty stomach or else I will die but anyway I ate and then washed my face um, I already put primer and I am putting some concealer on my eyelids because I literally want to do like a the quickest eyeshadow ever like I just want to put a little bit of like a light brown shade on my lids and then some little shimmer just so that I don't look you know super boring I don't know because I don't know how to do my eyeshadow to begin with so I'm like doing my eyeshadow in a brush is definitely not a good idea so concealer to prep the eyelids okay so I also did my brows I don't know if I forgot to mention that but what I did okay I did brows prep my eyelids and then now I'm gonna go in with this super old Kylie palette and I'm just gonna grab like literally a light brown and just work it into oh i'm like why does it look red it's not red it's brown i don't know why it looks like so red because it's not it's literally just light brown juan just came in to see if i'm ready right okay i did super quick little glitter on my eyes i used the elf elf in the shade flirty birdie it looks like this it's like their little liquid shadow i literally love this stuff because whenever i don't know what to do with my eyes i just put literally a little light brown shade on my crease and just some shimmer on top and it is so so good um okay so after that oh my god the window is literally i'm like fighting with the window <laughs> Then I'm gonna go in with the sheer glow from NARS. You guys know I literally always use this and I'm trying to finish it up because I want a new foundation. I'm like, I can't buy a new foundation until this one's out. So I'm just gonna dot this all over my face. And now I know that I really have to hurry up you guys because Juan just got home. So I'm like, ah, I have to hurry. But we're gonna do the foundation all over the eyes. This light is so annoying. Okay, now that my foundation is on, I'm going to go in with some concealer. Um, this one is from Flower Beauty, and I've been loving this one. It is so creamy. So, so good. I'm going to blend that out. And honestly, I'm this eyelash is kind of tricky, so I have to, like, fix it because it's bothering me so bad. I hate when I put lashes and one looks different than the other. So I have to, like, curl this one and re-glue this one because this one is, like, so bad. I'll do that at the end. I have to finish my whole makeup first. Okay, concealer done. Okay, now to bronze up my face, I'm just going to go in with this little Wet n Wild stick. I absolutely love this because it's literally like three dollars and it's so creamy it blends out so easily so i'm just obsessed with this like worth every penny and then i'm gonna blend it out really really quick i'm like eh, this is so stressful you guys i absolutely hate getting ready in a rush like it's so annoying i like taking my time so whenever i'm rushing i'm like so annoyed 
This lighting is throwing me off because I feel like my makeup looks a different color on camera right now than it does in person. Okay, and then now I have to blend my nose. And then I kind of don't know what blush to use. Like, I don't know if I should use like a pink blush or like a red blush because my dress is red. So I'm like, I don't know if like a red blush is actually super, super cute. So I'm like, if I do a red blush, it would look so nice. But I'm not sure what to do because I always wear pink blush. Okay, I decided I'm going to go in with this peachy blush. I absolutely love it. Look at how gross it is. Um, this one is from Morphe and it's in the shade Provocative Petal. Eh, it's super bright, but like once I blend it out and put um, like powder and stuff, it doesn't look that bright. Right now it looks like crazy. Like looks like I'm like flushed and out of breath. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited to show you guys like my catfish transformation. Like I was looking hella busted at the beginning and then at the end, I'm going to look like all nice with my little dress. Oh my god honestly i didn't even buy like new shoes i wanted to buy new shoes but i didn't have time i was super rushed this week i was so busy you guys like i don't think you know i was so stressed but i did get a really nice necklace i just hope i like it with the dress like once i have it on because it's such a cute necklace it's like red also and then i'll just have to figure out like what shoes i want to wear and then i have no idea how to do my hair so i'm like freaking out because i'm like i don't want to wear it down but i also don't know how to do my hair up so i'm like what do i do okay so now i'm going in with some translucent powder all over the face because i want this makeup to last all night and it gets really really hot in those balls i've already been to two marine corps balls the first one was when Juan and i were just dating and i actually flew from like our hometown in chicago and then um i met him in missouri no it wasn't missouri it was mississippi sorry i always get those two confused i don't know why it was in biloxi and i'm so surprised that my parents let me go like i thought my parents were gonna say no because my parents were super strict but um I remember asking my dad, I was like, oh, so like, can I go? Because I want to go to the ball with Juan and stuff. And since we were just dating, I thought my dad was going to be like, absolutely not. But I remember, I'll never forget what he said. He was just like, well, you're going to go anyway. So sure, I guess. And I was like, yes, you're right. I would have went anyway. I don't know. It's just so weird how like in Mexican households, you still have to ask for permission for everything. Like literally. It blows my mind. Oh, I need my brush. Anyway, so when we were dating, um, I went to that ball with him and it was my very first time. So that was really exciting. And I found it super cool that I got to like fly in and go to the ball with him. Like it was just so fun. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe like now we're married and we're literally living in a whole different state. And it's just crazy to see how far we've come from that very first time. And then the second time I went to the ball was when we got married. So I actually have never, I don't think I've ever talked about like our wedding, our like like how we got married, how he proposed, like all that stuff. So if you guys want a story time on like how Juan and I got married and like, cause it wasn't your tradition. <laughs> it was definitely not your traditional wedding. It was crazy. So if you guys want a story time of like my wedding, I will legit do it because my wedding was crazy. And although like in the future, I probably would want to do like another bigger like wedding and get married by like the church and stuff when we got married by the court you guys we were well we were literally 21 or no was i 21 oh yeah i think i was 21 so i'm like that's so crazy how we just literally were like let's get married and we got married in a whole another state and i had to fly in to my own wedding it was like crazy you guys so literally if you guys want a story time i will do one because right now we definitely don't have time and you guys know that i can't shut up so we cannot be doing no story times right now <laughs> okay anyways my second time going to the marine corps ball was here in San Diego and I had flown in for my wedding and we actually decided for that same reason to get married around the same time as the Marine Corps ball so that I could fly in for the ball and then also for our wedding which was absolutely crazy because I remember back then you guys I was so stressed like I was so stressed because our family was coming. I had no control over anything. I remember Juan had to do everything because he was the one living here. And literally, like, I think a week or two before my actual wedding, I was studying abroad in London. And it was so crazy because I was like, first of all, I'm not even in the country. And I was doing, like, wedding arrangements. Well, quote-unquote wedding arrangements because our wedding was, like super quick super last minute um and i remember my family was like oh my god eileen like you should wait to get married because this is so last minute and like we don't have time to plan and anything like that um but i was like no i want to get married right now because i wanted to get married during the ball and i remember like now i'm like i'm so i have no regrets because you guys because if i would have waited to get married covid would have hit which it did hit and i would have not been able to get married because it was covid <laughs> Oh my god, I almost drown every time I do that. <laughs> this is essential. I don't care if I'm rushing. 
honestly you guys now that i'm married and i've been married for three years already i think it's so crazy to think about like my novio days with juan because i'm like when we were barely dating like how crazy was it that we were together for four years long distance he was literally a marine i was in school and like oh how cute we had like our little our little relationship and then Honestly, like we traveled so much during that time like because the only time we would see each other was if we would travel So the amount of times that I flew to see him and like obviously when he came home Like it was so special because he was never home. So I'm like, oh my god now that I see this man every single day I'm like, how? How did I do it without seeing him for like four years? Like that still blows my mind I'm like what happened like that time is literally like a blur now because I see him literally 24 7 now so i'm like that's so crazy okay so now i'm literally done all i have to do is my lip combo but before i forget because i literally always forget i have to put setting spray because i need this makeup to stay on put a lot <laughs> okay so now i'm gonna line my lips with the mac uh lip liner in the shade strip down i'm looking for like a little mirror and i have i have no idea if i want to leave it matte or if i want to use a gloss focus okay now that i have my lips lined i'm gonna put like a matte lipstick first and then if i change my mind i'm going to do a gloss afterwards but i'm just not sure this is literally one of my absolute favorite lipsticks it's from dose of colors in the shade truffle so so nice I love the formula of Dose of Colors. You guys, I just had like a major hair crisis. Literally, I tried to do like an updo, like a messy updo, and I ended up looking like a crackhead. Like it was not cute at all. And I was so sad because I really wanted to do like a messy updo, but I just couldn't do it. And then I was scared that it was like too messy at one point when I finally got it down. And then I'm like, mm, that might not be a good idea just for tonight so my hair is already like a little bit curled so i think i'm just gonna go over it uh really quickly with this little curler um i'm not happy though i didn't really want to wear my hair down because i always wear my hair down and i'm like mm, that's not that cute like it's just bling i'm like no <laughs> my vision my vision is not coming to life and i still have like hella bobby pins in my hair from when i tried to do like the little updo but it kept falling down like it wouldn't stay up and i'm like oh hell no like if it can't even stay up here that i'm home imagine how bad it's gonna fall when i'm over there so i'm like nope i'm just gonna go with the old reliable wear my hair down and just like free curl it really quickly so let me curl my hair and we'll be right back okay guys we made it to the ball look at how cute one looks in his little uniform oh my god you look so cute that though but look i'm wearing this red dress and we'll show you guys a little otd in a little bit we're actually gonna eat first go get more drinks and brb okay guys i didn't have time to show you guys my outfit back home but now we're at the ball so i want to show you guys my dress and how i ended up doing my hair so i just ended up curling it my makeup you guys got ready with me and then this is my dress <laughs> are you showing my dress well, anyway, uh, that's my dress. And look at Juan. He got his little sergeant dress blues. Woo! Okay, we are with the Coda Robleses. Um, we got beautiful Razel. Look at how pretty Razel looks right now. Like, I just want to say she looks absolutely beautiful. And then we're going to go take shots right now because we well they have a room so we're gonna go take shots okay you guys ready we're gonna take a shot me taking a shot with you. Okay. cheers to our last ball are you guys gonna try be our only one together I know. Yeah, oh yeah our only ball might together we're no. missing Bri and Meyer. okay Bri and Meyer. let's have a moment of silence for Bri and oh Meyer. My okay okay <laughs> <laughs> all right one, three, let's okay go. okay one, one two three, three. Woo!
I fucking twerk that shit off. Okay, where is it? I want to see. It's in here somewhere. I can feel it somewhere. Damn!